tell us your goals for improving uh, the situation of uh, uh, women in Afghanistan. Well, our goals are to help them in any way that they tell us they want us to help them, because obviously this is their country and their culture, and we know that we are not going to ever fully understand anybody else's culture any more than we can explain everything about ours to someone. So we just want to help them towards their goals in the ways they tell us they want to be helped and try and get a lot of visibility focused on their situation because, you know, Bad people don't like broad daylight, so the more that we can shine a light on what goes on. And also, just, you know, trying to get at the root difficulties for women and girls, which is not, by any means, all the Taliban or all cultural. It's just, you know, people would like to send their girls to school, but how can they keep them safe on the way there or at the school? Um, same thing with medical treatment. Until the country can have a more peaceful and safe situation for all of the citizens, obviously the women and girls are the most vulnerable, and so they're the ones that tend to have the right to go to school, have the opportunity to get health care, but not be able to exercise it for fear of being attacked, kidnapped, subjected to anything from, from molestation to things having acid attacks. Okay, uh, one of the honorees tonight is the one who is campaign. Yeah. Uh, how did you choose uh, the one woman who is uh, You know, there are so, there are so many different amazing things that are being done by women and for women, by men as well as women. Um, so a lot of our choice rests on who it will be possible to transport here um, and, uh, and who is really doing work that deserves a lot of publicity because this is a way for them to speak to a fairly powerful community here in Los Angeles, and that can mean money and help and and attention that they might not get any other way. So you really want to have some people that would benefit from that. Do you think uh, countries in the Middle East like Iran or Afghanistan would ever achieve the same level of women? As best I, know, I think they'll. Do, I think they'll attain their version of it. Why not? You know, uh, I. I obviously am not a Muslim, but of course, during the course of this long campaign, I have come to know and love hundreds of Afghan people, mostly women, but a fair amount of men as well. So you're optimistic. I am optimistic. You know, my mother, God rest her soul, was born in 1914. That was six years before women could vote here, okay? It, it doesn't take, I mean, it seems like a long time because human lives are so short. But, you know, this is really just about respecting other people's humanity and creating happiness and allowing all the people in your culture to contribute the talents that they were born with. So, what country doesn't benefit from that? There's nothing in the Quran, from what I have been told by my Islamic friends, that forbids any of this. You just, you just have your form of it, you know, which is why when we worked with, with trying to help people on the ground in Afghanistan, we've always gone with indigenous organizations, because what do we know about what they need or how they would like to get it? But I think, yes, yeah, some form. So you are Yeah. Thank you.